Hey there, this is Doug Smith. I'm a broker owner of DHS Realty. And uh, just this morning, I wanted to do a little walkthrough on a, if a buyer calls you and uh, kind of A to Z. So uh, this will be working with a buyer. Um, I think that you should answer your phone no matter where you're at. I think that the world is your office. You don't need a Starbucks. You don't need a building, a brick and mortar. All you need is cell service and Wi-Fi. Uh, if you have no Wi-Fi, you still can have every uh, website and app on your phone that you can use on a laptop. So everything I'm doing on this laptop, I actually do on my phone. So as the phone call comes in, um, I'll say something like, hey, Doug Smith with DHS Realty. How can I help you? Oh, yeah, I'd like to look at 123 Easy Street. Absolutely. When? Oh, I, I don't know. How about tonight? Sure. Six or seven. Oh, seven. All right. Well, is this your cell phone? It is. And you text? I do. And what's your email? Joe at Joe.com. All right, cool. Well, I will see you tonight. Um, now, are you looking at other homes or just this one specifically? Well, we're just trying to get started. You know, we haven't looked at any homes before except online. Um, all right, well, I tell you what, I'll send you a list of properties that are similar to the one you called on tonight for us to look at. And um, I'll see you tonight at 6 p.m. and we'll go from there. All right, cool. Hey, one more thing before I get you off the phone. Give me your realtor's name so I can protect them in case you like the house. I want to make sure I don't take a commission from your realtor. Oh, I don't have a realtor. All right, I'll see you tonight at six. So I get off the phone with them. I immediately text them my electronic business card. Um, now that business card, um, if you uh, go and type in, you'll see that I have two business cards and they're both tied to all my social media. So I send that to them via text and it's an app on my phone called Haystack. Then I go to YouTube and I send them a YouTube video, how to pick, why pick Doug as your agent. So I immediately send them my business card and a YouTube video. Then I go into MLS for the first time. But before I go into MLS, we have an app at our company called Forewarn. And uh, basically uh, what it lets you do is put in somebody's phone number to see their criminal history. The app costs $120 a year ish. And I cover that myself as a broker owner for every agent in our company. So it will cost you nothing. And uh, let's say that it was me that called you. You want to put in my phone number. And then all you do is hit search. And you'll see that tied to that number is both my wife and myself. If you click on me, you'll see the phone records I've had, addresses dating back to when I was in college uh, and San Marcos in 1986. You'll see that I have a criminal infraction. Obviously, you want to click on that. And when you click on it, you'll see that I got a speeding ticket. But if it said that I had a felony assault, um, you know, multiple felony assaults or anything that just gives you a sixth sense that this is not somebody you need to go meet, then don't. There's nothing in, in real estate that says you have to meet somebody. Uh, it's America. You always have the ability to cut bait and fish somewhere else. So, um, again, when the call comes in, electronic business card, YouTube video, put them in forewarn. Then you're going to go in the MLS, which is matrix.netris.net. And you're going to get to this screen. And you're going to type in your license number with a zero and your own password. Once you hit enter, you're going to go to either 14 boxes or right into the MLS dashboard. So let's see. It looks like we are going into these 14 boxes, you'll see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on top of each other. So there's 14 boxes. Always hit the left one, matrix netris. When you click on that, you'll be into this screen, which is your default home screen that we kind of try to make conformity in our company. So uh, all you'll do is, uh, let's say the house that was called on was 8,005 Fall Meadow. This search square right here that I'm moving is the most important, in my opinion, feature in MLS because you can find a home really quick. The address is 8,005 Fall Meadow. All you need is an 8,005 and an F. You hit enter, and this system has all the homes back to 2003 that are in the MLS that start with an 8,005 and an F. As you go to number five and six, you'll see there's Fall Meadow and that the home's not even available anymore. So you've told the buyer you're going to meet them there. So the first thing you do is you open up the MLS printout, which is the um, the uh, MLS number and you go, oh, okay, let's see about 450 Plano about 2002 with a pool. 
All right, so you go back up here, hover over search, go residential quick, and this is gonna be your search screen. And right here, you're gonna go 0 450, Plano, and the year built was 2002. So you put a plus sign, and you can see there's no homes in Plano under 450. Okay, so you need to raise the price to 600. All right, and um, with the master down. Okay, let's go to a million. All right, let's do the search over. So sometimes you just have to work with it and you wanna absolutely do a double check on that because there should be some homes. So uh, right up here, price 0-600. Right? And then here you type in Plano, there's 35. And then here you put 2002 and a plus sign. Now there's zero. So let's go 1995 and a plus sign. There's two. So you hit results. At this point, you have your results. So you're going to hit three things. Results, save, new auto email. Results, save, new auto email. Results, save, new auto email. Now, if you don't have them in your dropdown, you need to create them as a new client. So you click on that and you put um, Joe, hello, Joe at whatever his email is. Hit save. And then here you just put homes, scroll down and hit save. You just emailed him those two properties. Then you're going to call or text him back and say, um, hey, I uh, just want to let you know that that home is no longer available that we were going to look at tonight. But I did set an appointment for two other homes that I sent to you. Uh, they are most comparable. And uh, I'm happy to meet you at 2441 Ravenhurst tonight. And uh, then we'll go over to 4725 Wickersham. Um, just confirm that you're good for tonight at six and we'll just change that home and I'll show you everything available in that price range. So boom, that's how you do it. Okay. Uh, let's say that you wanted to find out where the address is to meet them on that first one. This is called the MLS full report. When you click on the MLS number by default. So when you click on this, if you just click on Ravenhurst, the address that pulls up a map. When the map pulls up, you can basically see how to get to that property. Okay, so you can see there it is. Again, you're going to zero in a little. All right, now let me just show you a little bit about this home that I think of that most people don't, in my opinion. All right, look at this house next door. You can see how the garage jet out, okay? Well, this is the sun over here. This is west. So as the sun sets, that jet out is going to create a breeze right here in that patio. But look at this home. Look where the garage is. It's actually on the east side of the home. That means that this patio is going to get what? Due west sun. Okay. So I'm not a big fan of that. Now I'm going to go ahead and meet them because I want to meet them to establish some emotional intelligence with them. I want to show, you know, that I care. Uh, and be real with them. And, you know, I want to get face to face with them. So I'm going to meet them. But as we walk up to this house, they're going to pull up behind me. I'm going to get out, shake their hand, give them a little home buyer packet. As we're walking up, I'm just going to say, hey, I've already viewed this home kind of from uh, a Google look. And I uh, just letting you know um, that the backyard has a lot of sun in the summer. And I'm going to explain it once we get in. But I just thought, you know, that you'd want to know. Um, have you ever, you know, lived through a summer in Texas? And a lot of people are coming from California and they're going to say they, they love the sun. And you're going to explain to them that not here in Texas, we don't love the sun because for five months out of the year on this home, it's going to get due West sun. It's going to beat down that patio and they'll never eat out in the backyard. These people all day long in the summer, they'll have barbecues. It'll be shaded. This one will be shaded. This one will not look at that sun directly hitting it. See, that's the garage right there. This one shaded. This one awful, even though it's a corner lot, in my opinion, that sun will be beating down that backyard. Look at that. All that's unused. 
all that's unused because that's all going to have direct due west sun, even though it's a north south home. All right. So anyways, that's kind of something that you can look at. Look at this one. Shade right there. This one beating down in the backyard. 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 So I think that's huge for resale. And that's how you're going to show that you're a little different. OK, have some uh, emotional intelligence there. Um, all right. So that's uh, that's that. Um, um, right next to the clock underneath the picture, you can see these three sheets of paper. That's where you click and you can see any kind of attachments, uh, PDFs that the seller agent has loaded into the MLS. Generally, you might have the seller's disclosure survey, things like that. Uh, here you can see they have the seller's disclosure, um, some offer instructions. OK, so that's always good to know. Um, all right. Here you have the city. All right. Here you have the subdivision. There you have the county. You have uh, the lot. That's going to be the legal description in paragraph two of our contract, lot and block. OK, blocks right there. All right. As you scroll down, you're going to see age of the home right here. Square footage right here. <clears throat> when you go down to the bottom, you can see that this broker offer pads only offering two and a half percent because that's what that BAC stands for. Buyer agent commission. All right. It's been on the market five days. Um, now, that's the broker name. That's the broker address. OK, here is the broker license number. All right. Here's the office supervisor, the office supervisor's license number. OK, this is going to be the listing agent's license number. That's the listing agent, listing agent's phone and listing agent's email. OK, those are all things that you need to write an offer up. So when you write an offer up, the first thing that I'll tell you is that you need to print this form and it's called an agent full report. You print this form and then after you print it above the picture, all you do is go to tax. Click on it and you're going to print this. And with that, that concludes the training, because when this tax roll pops up, you're going to want to print it. And that way you'll have the tax roll and the agent full report. And that will get you from A to the middle of the alphabet and then the middle of the alphabet to the end is writing up the offer. And that's where we've done training and you just give me a call five into midnight and I'll walk you through the rest of that. Okay. Y'all be safe and have a great Saturday. Go Cowboys.